And what I found is that when I was able to drive my glucose levels down, my body pivoted to relying upon fat. My ketones shot up. And it was able to, when I take the bourbon, it was able to keep my glucose down and my ketones high. And so I think, you know, a lot of people are chasing ketones and which is fine. There's a lot of health benefits to ketones. We know ketones affect the GABA to glutamate ratio within the brain. They affect mitochondrial biogenesis. They affect a lot of things. So I understand why people like having high ketone levels. But if you're trying to optimize your ketone levels for say mental performance, mental clarity, you might want to consider taking berberine. Berberine hydrochloride is one of my favorite all-time natural compounds. Why? Because it's so effective. I've been studying this research for a long time and there's a lot of benefits to berberine that we're going to talk about when it comes to supporting blood sugar health. But the biggest thing that I want you to understand is, you know, it's been used in Chinese medicine for over 1500 years for a myriad of different conditions. And I don't know exactly how in Western allopathic or Western herbal medicine, how it came about, but scientists have compared and researchers have looked at this head to head compared to no treatment versus compared to metformin in terms of affecting fasting and post meal glucose levels. They've looked at various blood lipids, but I personally got excited about this when I was wearing my 24 hour glucose monitor. And what I found is that what this did, because berberine affects a critical kinase enzyme called AMPK. So AMPK. So AMPK, you've probably heard of reciprocal inhibition, but I'm going to just draw AMPK and then mTOR. Okay. So these are opposite sides of the same coin, if you will, in terms of enzymatic regulators or nutrient sensing receptors. It turns out that berberine hydrochloride affects AMPK, which then triggers, I'm going to write ATG for autophagy. Okay. Now that's not one of the main mechanisms uh, of enhance why I like berberine is, is not necessarily because it affects autophagy. That's one of the, the things that I think is really cool about it, but I like taking berberine for how it affects your glucose levels, particularly you can take it before you start your fast. For example, uh, what I found when wearing my continuous glucose monitor is berberine kept my glucose at around six, 65, that's, um, milligrams per DL. So I found that it was able to really have this, and I don't want to use words that the FDA doesn't want me to use, suppressive effect on glucose levels. Now, let me just pause and just say that, you know, if you have diabetes, you have blood sugar issues, you have insulin resistance, you need to work with your healthcare practitioner. In these videos, we can't diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. We're talking about optimizing health here. And what I found is that when I was able to drive my glucose levels down, my body pivoted to relying upon fat. My ketones shot up and it was able to, when I take the bourbon, it was able to keep my glucose down and my ketones high. And so I think, you know, a lot of people are chasing ketones and which is fine. There's a lot of health benefits to ketones. We know ketones affect the GABA to glutamate ratio within the brain. They affect mitochondrial biogenesis. They affect a lot of things. So I understand why people like having high ketone levels. But if you're trying to optimize your ketone levels for say mental performance, mental clarity, for some managing some sort of health condition, you might want to consider taking berberine because it's very effective in that regard. And you, it has a lot of other health uh, kind of benefits here. Let me kind of clean that up so it doesn't look so yucky. So what are the dosages of berberine that you may want to consider? Well, you should understand that the studies look at between 0.5 grams, so that'd be 500 milligrams to 1.5 grams per day in divided dosages. So if you're a healthy person and you're looking for optimum and you're trying to really kind of squash down the post meal rise in glucose, here's what I suggest is you can take a capsule that gives you 0.5 grams or 500 milligrams of berberine hydrochloride with that meal. If you're looking at trying to enhance autophagy, if you're trying to enhance ketogenesis while you're fasting, for example, then you can just start by taking this first thing in the morning on an empty stomach on the day that you're going to fast. Now, why, again, why does this do this? Well, it, it turns out that there's this kind of reciprocal inhibition mechanistically between AMPK and mTOR. And if, if we can stimulate AMPK and its downstream targets, including the autophagy related genes and proteins and enzymes and so forth, that maybe we can kind of get a little bit more mileage out of our fast. And let me just totally pause here. Obviously, I don't have any randomized placebo double blinded studies to 
piggyback off. No one really does when it comes to fasting at this point in time in various herbs because that just has not been looked at yet in 2019. But after experiencing you know, this, and this was over two and a half years ago when I was wearing this glucose monitor for the first time, the continuous glucose monitor, is I was really profound and taken aback by how powerful berberine affected ketone synthesis and affected glucose levels. So when else would you use berberine? Under times of stress. As you know, the glucocorticoids and stress hormones can lift glucose up and that can create problems for other downstream uh, benefits that we're looking for like autophagy, for example. So when you're stressed out, when you're traveling, you know, if you're gonna have a cheat meal, for example, and I don't recommend it like a cheat pill, but those are some of the instances when you could potentially benefit from berberine. And I don't recommend taking berberine all the time. I recommend using it like any other supplement when you need to supplement your diet to accelerate things, to offset some lifestyle changes that you have no control about, stress, travel, sleep imbalances, and so forth, because all those tend to push glucose up. So those, again, are considerations you may wanna think about. Of course, you always wanna check with your healthcare practitioner. And on this channel, we cannot diagnose, tr treat, or cure, or prevent any disease. We're really just trying to optimize health. So uh, I hope you consider bourbon hydrochloride. Um, again, you wanna get it from a reputable company. Um, and you wanna make sure that the dosages that you're looking at are 0.5 milligram or more per capsule. And I would start, more is not always better. Okay, so start, get the most you can from the littlest inputs. And so start out with just say one capsule per day of something that's gonna give you 500 milligrams per cap. So anyway, I get excited about this stuff. Hope you get excited about berberine as well. Uh, if you do, hit that like button. Let me know what your experience with berberine and other natural compounds are. All right guys, I'm gonna sign off.